installation, SIC. By the end of this training, you'll be able to reset SIC and establish SIC. The definition for SIC is checkpoint components communicate with each other using SIC. SIC is based on SSL with digital certificates. When a security management server is installed, a certificate authority is created. The CA issues certificates for all components that need to communicate with one another. In other words, you have your gateway. The gateway needs to enforce a policy. Now, you don't want any management to be able to send a policy to your gateway. Just like if you have your own speaker and it's wireless, you don't want any, uh, any person out there to be able to transmit music to your living room, right? So the solution is to somehow pair the device with your phone, right? So we're going to do something similar with a gateway. We're going to have our management. Once you install the management, it becomes a certificate authority. From the gateway side, you create a SIC password, some sort of an activation key, which is unique. And from the management side, you submit that same key, thus establishing trust between those two components. So to be able to perform this demo, you will need terminal access to the gateway and of course, smart console access so you can submit the one-time activation key on the management. In this demo, we'll use our admin machine to connect to the gateway over SSH. We'll reset our SIG password and then we'll connect to the management side over Smart Console to submit that one-time activation key. This is a console connection to my gateway and I'm going to reset SIC. Resetting SIC is something I can do in case I've blocked myself out of the gateway. For example, if I had a policy that blocks my traffic, if I'm about to maybe give my firewall away, so I want to reset it to make sure it has some sort of a factory settings uh, firewall, which we call an initial policy. To reset SIC, there are a few ways to do that. I'm going to do the classic method by running cpconfig. Select option number five. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Now I'm going to create my activation key. And I'm typing something, but it's a secure text, so you're not going to see anything. No, oh, password mismatch. Here we go. I'm almost done. Some people mistakenly think that they're done and now they can go ahead and establish SIC, but you can't. You have to press, in this case, 9. Or, you know, in your environment, it can be 10, 11, 12, depends on the hardware you have on your gateway. You need to select the option to exit because only after you exit the menu, it applies the resetting SIC action. So now I have to wait for a few seconds. And we're done. Now I can open Smart Console. New, Gateway. I like to use the classic mode. Well, I'm a, I'm a classy guy. I'm going to start by adding the host name, the main IP address, go to communication, submit the password. Some people press enter at this stage, but if you press enter, it's going to hit the OK. You want to initial, you, you want to hit initialize. So just manually click on that one. Trust established. Now, since they have trust, I'm going to pull information about the network interfaces on this device. Here they are. Press close. I'm going to network management just to verify that my external adapter is written as my external adapter. And it's external not because of the IP address, but because 
my default gateway is reachable through ETH2. I'm going to go ahead and uh, enable NAT at this stage. Even though it's better to do it later from the object itself, but just for the purpose of this demo. Press OK. If I'll go to security policies, I can see that by default, my default rule is clean up any, 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 any drop. I'm going to stick with that because it's really secure. So I'm going to go ahead and install the policy. Click install. And I'm done. I've successfully installed the policy after establishing SICK. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.